means we're ready to kick it off one more time here at Pizza Hut Stadium. Still got another matchup coming your way. It's Tom. But this one right now, going to decide who's coming out of the NFC South. And it'll be Civil take it out to the 30-yard line. And here's his playbooks. Mo, he's going to be going pass balance on the offense. You know, that Jets defense we've seen a lot of, but that pass balance offense, I heard it has 33 shotgun formations, no single back, and no eye form. So he's going to stay in this shotgun all game. Very, very impressed with how he plays. Very methodical, very slow approach. And for Nick Hacko, RG, he's going to be using the Dolphins defense during this opening drive. Yeah, and Civil used a unique playbook, Hacko, with two of the most popular playbooks. West Coast, the number one most popular playbook in this entire tournament on offense, and that Miami Dolphins defense was the number two most popular defensive playbook. 11 out of 32 competitors in this tournament used that Dolphins defense. So, gentlemen's agreement, they'll set their audibles. If this is your first time watching Madden NFL 20 on a competitive level, they're trying to set up their audibles. Uh, so they don't have to worry about that as they go throughout the game and they can just focus on the game plan. He'll start to drive at the 30-yard line for Sybil. The man representing the Buccaneers, and they've certainly gone all in on social media. They want to see their guy make his way to the final. Got to get past the Saints and Nick Hacko first. He'll sling it to the outside, and there is Diggs at the 39. And this guy's civil. I want to call out. This is a busy guy. He works with that Ace Madden crew. He's also a sophomore at Western Michigan University. Go he works 30 hours a week for FedEx, and he's able to play Madden at this high level. And it's a there busy is guy. Johnson. That was like a shovel pass. He's working up the sideline, a little stop and go, and he decides to run out of bounds at the 28. And you know. That was a really good play by Silva because he could have easily jukebox into that defender, realizes Chris Johnson has that speed, doesn't waste the ability, just gets up the field. You hear a lot of hip hop in Madden. It's one of the first country music guys we've had. Whatever works. Aikman. And Diggs will just lay down at the 24. And I asked Civil, we see him singing along the whole time. I said, bro, what is in the play playlist? He said, I got some Luke Combs, some Morgan Wallen, some Thomas Rat. I mean, I don't know who these guys are, but he's all in on them. He said his main track he needs is whis Whiskey Glasses by Morgan Wallen. That's his jam. Add him to iTunes. Here we go. Second and six at the 24. My music is kind of whack. I'll, I'm the kind of guy that'll listen to George Strait, but I'll also rock New Edition. I'm all over the place. I'm messed up. And a really good decision for him to just throw that ball away right there. There was nothing open down the field. Just throw it away, live to fight another day. So third and six. Ball to 24. Here on this opening drive for Civil. This is as far as either of these guys have ever been. And the MCS, Aaron, a diving grab there by Hill at the 19. And short. it's going to be fourth and inches. Mm. This gets scary, though. He's got all those guys in the block, box. And he'll lean for it, and it will be a first down. It's a big first down right there from Civil. And looking at the stats, you got Civil. Nobody passes the ball more than him. He is number one in pass attempts. And when you're dealing with Hacko, he's top three in sending the blitz. So look for him to eventually send the goons and not give Troy Aikman time to just sit in this pocket. If you're Hacko, you got to get after Aikman and play to your strengths, which has been that blitz. Both these guys trying to go over 20 grand in their Madden earnings. Oh, yeah. As Aikman will oh, get yeah. sacked up back in the 25. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. And you know, this playbook has 33 shotgun formations, but he runs that gun A slot offset almost every single play. We see him audible some, to some other formations, but it's only for the jet sweep pass. He's going to stick around in this formation no matter what the down and distance is. You know, the AFC has been the veterans. The NFC has been the newcomers. And they're on a collision course here in San Francisco. Aikman here on second down. And Troy gets it to Ingram, the speedy tight end. And he'll get back to the original line of scrimmage. Here's third and 10. It's a very manageable situation for Civil. 
You want to pick up this first down. You would much rather get seven than settle for three here. But if you don't pick up this first down, you're more than likely going to just have to take your points. There's no one on, on the outside right there. This guy's by himself. Yeah, who's got digs? Hacko doesn't seem concerned. And he'll motion him in. Aikman with time. And we got a field goal coming up. Gonna go down as a sack. I like both of these guys' attire. So he kicks this field goal. I'm just gonna put that, put that out there. It's a little chilly in here, Scott. Both guys are hoodied up. Hackle's got the scully. That's good preparation, not just on the sticks, but in your uniform as well. Something tells me Simmel would have a cowboy hat on or something if he could fit the Bose headset over oh, top. For sure. You think they'd ever let us hoodie up, 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 up here? It's a little nippy. It would be a plus up from the polo. Let's see what you did there. We're, hey, we're getting in the holiday season here. Maybe some mad and ugly sweaters. So first to 10 at the 34 after the opening drive yields a field goal for Civil. I mentioned both these guys just getting started in their MCS career. Nick Hacko with 14 wins while Civil got his 13th win earlier today. And, you know, we see Nick Hacko in that West Coast playbook. Normally you think gun bunch, but this guy likes to run this I-form wing, I-form tight, and try to get Chris Johnson out in space. Yeah, I talked to User after the game. He said, gee, I knew he was in West Coast, but I had no idea he was going to go to that single back doubles, hit me with some stretch. I wasn't prepared for it. And, again, that's just good lab work with Hacko. Just because you're in a playbook with some popular formation doesn't mean you can't go to some of those other formations and learn how to run them, run them to catch your opponent off guard. And Hacko has done that in this West Coast playbook and had success because of it. Well, you saw his struggles on the ladder. He certainly is probably running the games where, you know, those meta formations just didn't pan out for him as he hands it off Chris Johnson, and he goes nowhere. Scott Cole, Serious Mo, RG with you. It's a huge ball game between Civil and Nick Hacko. And how ridiculous is tomorrow going to be as the first quarter comes to a close? We got some juggernauts, some titans of Madden. They're going to grab the sticks tomorrow. You could argue the four biggest names in the game will be playing tomorrow. On the AFC side. <laughs> On the AFC side. <laughs> That's a lot of belts floating around. On just one side of the bracket. And remember, these guys are fighting for the right to be able to play tomorrow. And though they're playing for $10,000 right now, they've each made 10. They're trying to make 20. Once they're in those games tomorrow, your first game's a $20,000 game of Madden. You have a chance to double up from 20 to 40,000. So each one of these games just gra grants that much more opportunity for you. And you don't get much opportunities like this in life. You have to take advantage. Good time out there by, by Civil. It looked like we were going to see a stretch on third and 10. You know, he aired it out the last two plays. But it looked like we might have seen a stretch right there. Excuse me, just the last play. So it'll be a third and 10. Civil comfortable just staying in this 3-4 overhead, a formation we don't see a lot of dropping in coverage. Wilson looking on third down. And right over the middle of the field. And that should be enough for the first down. It looked like his middle linebacker could have made a play, but he just dropped too, a little too far back. And Hacko able to squeeze it in there. Still got one more matchup closing, uh, coming your way to close out the day. It'll be Volterax taking on Trey Kings. Ooh, that is going to be a run fest. You can get your T-shirt in the lobby. And how about Trey Kings just coming up out of nowhere, placing top 16 in the first two majors? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's a good point, Mo. Trey, many forget that Trey Kings had a good run at the Madden Classic, and you thought maybe he would just fade away, and he just came right back to the club championship, picked up where he started, and now has a chance to make some real guap. And he finished ninth back in Arlington. So looking forward to that one with the sultry sounds of Nick and Tyler Davis. Watch the whip, hey, zero, 
Might be a little salt in the wounds to have TD still hanging out in the NFC West. Come on, Montez. Come on, we got you there for a reason. You a big boy. Here comes Come a big play coming up, second and eight. Keep and I gotta say, he got a gain of two before Montez Sweat wrapped him up. And you could tell Nick Hackle's just not all that comfortable on offense right now. Going to a bunch of different formations. And, you know, I think we'll probably see a run play versus this 3-4 Barry. Doesn't look like he wants to pass versus it. And Civil looks very uncomfortable versus this formation as well, audibling to some coverage defense. We don't see a lot of that in the 3-4 Bear. This is the stretch he had a lot of success with versus user. Oh, no, he's going to check out of it. He'll bunch it up to the left side. Great chess match being played right now. John Ross solo to the right. Tyreek will join him. Wilson. And he'll just throw it away. There's just nothing downfield, all bagged up. I, I saw what he wanted right there. He was looking for the check and release route to his tight end, where it's a delay route, and you can kind of tell the tight end went to go out into the open space, but the tight end kind of got stuck on his lineman. But there was room there if he didn't. So look for Hacko to go back to that delay route later in the game, especially when you're not getting blitzed. And Civil's going to have to stop coming on this 3-4 bear because I promise he doesn't want to sit in cover three. Oh, yeah, He'll stretch it. He'll make oh, a yeah, move. CJ. First down a little bit more. Oh, yeah, One man to be in Troy oh, yeah. Abke saves the day. And promise. I can't believe he it's broke not, that tackle. I, I don't know if Civil didn't click on and user tackle him. It looked like that might have been a secure tackler. It was a secure tackler, Mo, but I believe that was a juke. So he got the fake out animation instead of the broken tackle animation. Had he had tackle supreme or unfakeable, that's a tackle right there, but since it's only secure tackler, the jukebox was able to uh, counter it. He was able to get on his horse. RG with no part of the development team down there in Orlando. Temeron and Troy Apking nearly got shook loose. You know, that was a scary moment. It's really scary when you're trying to tackle that Chris Johnson with the jukebox. He can shake off at any moment, and he's going to be way faster than anybody you got on your defense. So that was extremely scary. It looked like he might have broke free for a touchdown right there, but luckily for Civil, able to make a gang tackle and wrap him up for only three-yard gain. I'm not sure either of these guys are comfortable, and rightfully so. This is the biggest game of Madden they've ever played. And, you know, that's what I love to see. You know, you, it's, it's, it's really beautiful when both players look uncomfortable, you know, because it really brings out the best Madden. We're not, we're not going to see, you know, the same plays over and over again. We're going to have to see people really dig deep and find a way to win this game. Second and seven now. Inside field goal range. We're coming up on the two-minute warning as Chris Johnson breaks it to the second level. And he's going to be in the red zone at the 13. And I want to say, Scott, that's just not any Chris Johnson. That's the fully powered up 95 overall Chris Johnson who gets up to 96 speed with that power up in sprinter camp. So like Mo said, when he starts moving, it is scary because there's likely nobody on the field that could catch him unless you have that full Deion Sanders. High formation. Esther off to the left side. Here at the two-minute warning in a three-point game. Chris Johnson once oh no. again, and they won't get him. No, no. Hacko takes the lead. And it looks like, like Civil on. has no answer for that halfback dive. You were seeing him, he's trying to run that same defense that Decroft runs, getting in the gap right there at this linebacker, but that DN's just not able to shoot in and make the tackle. He's going to have to make an adjustment because I think Nick Hacko has figured out that defense. Nick Hacko is his government name and his gamer tag. Come on, man. Lock up. Yeah, I asked him about Lock that, up. Scott. He said, you know what? I was trying to come up with a nickname, but there was nothing that I knew I would stick with. He said, one thing I knew I'm going to stick with is my actual name. So he went Nick Hacko. There's that CJ once again. That speed is out of control. And when you have Apke at the free no, safety, no. he's just not going to be able to make no, those tackles no. securely like we see with come Troy Palomalu and Pat Tillman. Got these guys wired up. I can't wait to listen to them at the half. Under two minutes to go in the oh, second quarter. Away. Aikman away, boy. will away. just throw it away. And you know, Civil doesn't really have a high-powered offense. He has a very good offense, but it's not plays that go gain a bunch of yards in quick, quick amount of time. So he's got to work the ball down the field. If Nick Hacko plays some coverage defense, it's going to be really tough for Civil to get points before halftime. Averaging about 200 yards per game. With a 166 of that, 
coming through the air. He leads all our competitors in passing attempts per game. It's a dink and dunk for sure. He's got him. And leads him up, and Evan Ingram can't drag the toes. And it looked like he could have had a touchdown there if he throws it a little bit earlier and give Evan Ingram a little bit more field to work with on that sideline. Saw the replay there. He was actually well out of bounds. Third and ten. This is big, guys, because if Civil doesn't get this, he needs to consider punting, which will give Hacko another possession before the end of this half. Huge play right here at the end of the second quarter. Eggman. Civil looking. Looking. Oh, and that into coverage. And Troy Palomalu. Long hair, don't care. Great lurk by Nick Hacko. And Nick Hacko looks like a well-poised Madden player. You know, this is a kid that used to be in Twitch chats just watching Joel CP play all the time. And now he's making a name for himself. Looking like one of the best players left in this tournament. That, that's cool, Mo, that you mentioned that. Because I, I asked him, I said, what got you into it? And it's literally just watching guys we've seen here. He said watching Problem on Twitch, watching Joel on Twitch. And he's just a regular Madden player. Then he's applied himself. And here he is now trying to secure the $20,000 bag in complete control right now in this NFC South championship game against Civil. Coming up on a minute to go here in the first half. He does still have all three timeouts. Wilson will get under center, oh gosh, and oh. that goes nowhere, Mo. Yeah, just great run defense right there. Oh. And it looks like Hackle's okay with, you know, going up by seven right here. I wouldn't expect him to force anything. He can't afford to lose very much yardage. He's already at the 35-yard line, which is a field goal he can make. But if he loses three or four yards, he's not going to be able to make that field goal any longer. Let's see how he plays this. If he goes conservative, does he get greedy and go for the gusto? I think he's reading your mind, Mo. It's looking conservative right here. He's on the edge of field goal range here at the 35. Check, check 31. Check safety, check safety. This is a run 100 out of 100 times. Yeah, let that clock wind all the way down like that. And Johnson, I think, lost the yard. He's still going to be in field goal range, but it's 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 a little bit tougher. You got to kick it perfectly. He does have Steven Goskowski, and this is right down Main Street, and it has the distance. Nine seconds to go now in the half, and the lead is seven. Ten unanswered by Nick Hacko. And he's going to be getting the ball back at halftime, so if you're civil, you've got to find a way to stop that run coming out of the second half. Just seven seconds to go now. No timeouts for civil. you got to think this is just jet touch pass time right here for civil. He's going to give it to one of his wide receivers and hope they can break a big one. If you're Hacko, you just can't let that happen right here. You have played too good in this first half to give up something. Only seven seconds left here. Yep, here comes this touch pass. And he'll hand it off. Chris Johnson, a little stop and go. And he can't stop the clock. And so the first half will come to an end. The lead is with Nick Hacko. 10 to 3. The differential is just seven. And I mentioned before, we got these guys wired up at the club. Call my name into his legacy. I play some of the worst night I've played in the NFL. I really am. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, B King. Come on, man. D man, come on. Come on, man. Put him down, Montez. Come on. We got you there for a reason. You a big boy. Come on. That secure ain't going to stop it. I promise you it's not. I promise it's not. Well, it's a seven-point game, and you've seen Troy P. make some plays. You want to have an opportunity to maybe get him on your squad. You need to link your EA account with Twitch to receive Twitch drops and have a chance to win an exclusive Troy Palomalu Madden Club Championship reward. And I know there's a lot of folks in that Twitch chat hoping and praying for that Troy P. I'll get a shout out to those out on YouTube and on, on the you Twittersphere. As we start the second half, Scott Cole, serious Mo, two-time belt winner. And RG, 
maybe probably won a winging contest one time. Yeah, you, you, you be discrediting a lot of my man and credibility. <laughs> I know it's been like a decade since I've been tough, but I was tough at one point, bro. Hey, Techers is from London. At one point, you went over and played Madden in London. I represented our country in London and brought back the trophy. If that's not Al Bundy-type glory, I don't know what is. 10-3. to three. And, you know, a lot of players, once they get down, they stop singing their uh, lyrics. <laughs> We're not going to see that out of Sybil. Clearly, you know, he's just enjoying life like a good little country boy. And you know what? Let this play go real quick. As Wilson gets to the outside here. Great lurk. And oh! it's right to Shazier. And that might be what gets Sybil back in the game. That was a great lurk there by Civil. If you're Nick Hackle, you ran the ball so effectively. How do you let one two-yard loss stop you from going right back to the run game? But Civil, great adjustment there. Comes down with a sick lurk with Shazier. One turnover apiece now as Aikman will hand it off. Misdirection. Sticky. Jukebox time in. So close. They'll mark him down at the one. And the point I wanted to make, Scott, this guy, Civil, isn't going to get discouraged like Mo said. He said, you know what? I come from a place where we don't get a lot of opportunities. He said, just being able to come out here, travel, and get the experience means the world to me. And if you don't think I'm going to leave it all out on the virtual gridiron, you have judged me wrong. And he's showing why right now as he continues to battle against Hacko. He's going to look to tie this game up right here. Go live formation. Here come the hefties. I'm not sure why maybe he doesn't have Chris Johnson at fullback. He'll hand it off. And why not? Just jukebox your way in and pin in the PAT, Mo. We got a game. Yeah, and he said, and now we fight after he lurked him with Shazier. And that's exactly what's going to have to happen. It's up and it is good. Just took two plays after the turnover to get back into it. And we got a 10-10 ball game all of a sudden here in the second half. We just under nine minutes to go in the game. Oh, 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 oh. Out of nowhere. It's a loose ball and Tyreek saved a disaster on the kickoff. I don't want to win like that. Wow, let's take a look at the play that set up the touchdown. This is right to Shazier. And look at Shazier. He's guarding the corner route, but he snaps off of it, comes back on the end route. Just a great, great defensive play there by Civil. The funny thing about Civil on that fumble, he said, I don't even want it like that. He's lying to you, RG, I promise. <laughs> He'll take it however he can get it, Omo. And there's Hester coming all the way across the field to make the grab at the 34. And that's his second completion with Russell Wilson, but for much of this game, he was controlling the game the entire time, running the ball. Interested, interested to see him go right to the pass on the first down after he's been running the ball so effectively, but now we see him back in that I form twin tight end. He was up a touchdown with getting the ball to start the third quarter. He was in control. But a turnover has made it a game. Here's my favorite play that Stretch X alert, looky. And he'll hand it off to Chris Johnson, and they'll contain him on the edge. And we don't see a lot of people run that 3-4 overhead, but Civil has found something. It looks like he has pretty good coverage defense versus Gun Bunch, and he's found a way to stop the run out of those I-form formations as well. I like this adjustment by Civil. Wilson goes to the gun. Ross on the outside, the speedster. He's going to need a block shot here. Otherwise, somebody's going to get wide open. Oh, yeah. He has him. Oh, He's yeah. going up top. John oh, Ross will yeah. haul it in. And it's a oh, touchdown man. for Hacko. And if you oh, thought this right. guy, Nick Hacko, was going to yeah, lay down, it. you oh. thought wrong. This is a guy that oh. came here with his other lab partners, AKG, BG Fam, Kratobin. And you know what? They're all out of the tournament. He's the last one left trying to represent from his homies, trying to represent for the family, trying to put on the Beaver, Pennsylvania. And so far, so good as he goes back and takes the lead in this, this $10,000 game of Madden. Take a look at it again, Mo. Busted John Ross coverage. is speeding. Yeah, it looked like Troy Palomalu just came too far down in the box. 
He was in a deep zone, but he bumped into the, his user, and that's why he just got completely burnt. Troy, Troy Falamalu is not going to be able to keep up with John Ross anyways. And how about the Mo Romo on that one? He told us, he said, <laughs> if he doesn't get a block, Shen, it's going to be trouble. And trouble it was. Good ripoff there by Chris Johnson. There's a lot of speed on the field. Again, though, it's going to take a lot to discourage Civil. One of the quotes I have from him, he says, you know what, G, being positive means everything to me. I'm not a guy that's going to go on tilt. So let's see. He's going to get put to the test right here in the biggest game of his life as he's down seven late in this third quarter. Six carries, 51 yards. Now for Civil. That brings up a second and five. And it looks like he might have found something with his run play right here. Looks like he's having some holes almost every single time he runs it. Look for the bubble screen as well. Aikman, good call, partner. He swings it outside of Tyreek Hill and easily picks up the first down. Yeah, once he got control on that safety on that side where the bubble's at, there was no one left to guard it. Great recognition there by Civil. So that'll bring him a first and 10 at the 44. Aikman, once again, hands it to Chris Johnson, but can't get away, maybe a yard. And you know, I don't think he let Chris Johnson get back healthy right there. I think he might have been running with him a little bit tired. You know, he probably could have got a few yards there if he, if he was fully energized, but he's being a little impatient right now. He needs to so settle down. There's still a ton of time left in this game, and you still control your own fate on offense. Chris Johnson was the 2009 Offensive Player of the Year. It's back when RG was good at Madden. Am I, am I doing better, G? Yeah, that was around Is that, that better? Time. All right. Aikman gets it out to Hill. And that'll be enough for the first down. And I'll be honest, I was around in Madden 09. It had to be some time before that <laughs> when RG was good at Madden. Get out of here. Y'all are just ruthless, man. I want a challenge in 09. Yeah, I didn't even beat Evil O in on, the man. final game. I mean, that just shows how tough Evil O is to still be around. So we got a second and 13. I mean, Justin Chow was way better. Chow was tough. Chow was tough. So a loss of three as we start the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. We're having a good time. Hope you guys are as well. So we still got one more match to come. Volterax and Trey Kings. Ooh. And there's that pass lead. And I'll take it to the. Come on, man. Come on, man. No, he's going to be called incomplete. As you see him dancing all on the sideline there. So it'll be a third and 13 now. And it looks like he missed the post for a touchdown. And now he's got himself in a really tough situation. Going back to that same exact play. Big third down. Picks up the blitz. Sets his feet and fires. Dion, Dion. And oh my gosh, bro. it won't be an INT. Oh. Fortunate play there for Civil. He's got to go ahead and take his points and play defense. Luckily, he's not. Luckily, he didn't turn it over right there because that should have been picked off in bounds. Dion not able to get his feet in. Kick is up and just over the crossbar. The 52-yarder brings him within four. And the three points is big right there because now all you got to make sure is Hacko doesn't get a touchdown here and you'll guarantee yourself to get a possession back to either take the lead or at least tie the ball game up. But the one thing you can't let up here if you're civil is that touchdown. A field goal is manageable. A touchdown could end this game if you're Hacko. 4.43 to go. High formation. Chase here will motion out. And Johnson cuts it back inside and makes something out of nothing. And it looked like Civil actually blitzed his cornerback right there. To able, well, that's why he was able to shoot in. Very surprised that Chris Johnson was still able to pick up five there. Got to be careful of that. Maybe swing it out to Chase here. And this is what I don't love. You just picked up an easy five yards with Chris Johnson, and now you're already back in the gun bunch formation. Why not stay in that I form twin tight end? He has no idea how to stop it. You're making life really difficult on yourself, especially when he's already picked 60 with Shazier. Wilson in the gun here on second and five. Using a whole bunch of time. 
Hands it off to Chris Johnson. He tries to stretch it out. Jukes box back inside, and this is going to be close. Third and one. It looks like he's going to be coming back out in a three wide receiver set. Probably going to see a run play here. Out of which formation, we don't know. Needs a yard. Back to the bunch. Looks like he's going to air it out. You can't pass the ball right here. Can't th I would never pass the ball right here, but it looks like he's going to. Wilson. And he has a wide open. Oh, he dropped oh, it. Man. And he can't hang on. So fluky, bro. Hackle's oh. calling for the fluke. Look at that smile on Civil's face. You know, he just laid the boom. That, that was a phenomenal lurk right there. Able to get a hit stick right there. And I'll tell you why he dropped that ball. It's because his name's Jeff Swaim, and he's not very high cap, very low OVR player. That that guy's not really supposed to get the ball on Nick Hackle's offense. He's, no, he's normally supposed to be in the block. He sends him out for a route. And this fullback dive will not work against this defense. That's one thing I can promise you. And they'll hand it off to Chris Johnson. He'll try to fall forward. He won't get there. Wow. Mo flying the defense. How'd you know he'd blow it up oh like that? God, I have seen that fullback dive for time and time again. And simple. I mean, if that's on Ace Madden somewhere, I might need to sign up. That was huge. So a turnover on down. Sybil's going to have it at his, the 35-yard line of Nick Hacko. Looks like he's going to have some space here on this inside zone. And that's where he'll go. And Chris Johnson fights his way to the 34. And I didn't love the motion right there. It looked like he might have taken a blocker out of the play instead of helping him. You know, I would like to see him motion that other wide receiver. It looked like it would have gave him some more space out there. It looked like he did have the space, but he kind of took the numbers advantage away from himself. And the reason he goes to that motion, he's just trying to disguise the formation because he has the touch pass and he has the inside zone. Trying to keep Hacko off balance. But like Mo said, didn't work right there. No dice. Second and nine. Little hitch. He'll pass lead him up. And that's that pass lead ability. You know, he picks up eight yards right there instead of picking up three or four. Just that ability can make a difference. Just, I love how he's incorporated into his offense. He's going to take this all the way down to the two-minute warning, I assume. Unless he sees something. Needs a yard. No reason to rush it. And he will take it to the two-minute warning. Four-point ball game here with two minutes to go. And he has the perfect offense for this situation. There's just enough time where he has his full playbook open to him. He doesn't need to rush anything. And, you know, if you're Nick Hackle, you, I cannot believe you passed on third and one right there. I understand you got a drop, but that completely ruined all your momentum, and then you got stuffed on fourth down. This is a really good situation for Civil. Third and one from the 26. Phil Goal won't get it done. Great route. And swings it outside as his fullback. And that's enough to move the chains. And it looked like he had a touchdown on that post. It just looks like he just did, wasn't comfortable throwing it on third and one. But he did have the touchdown in the corner of the end zone. And that's that tight end. And that's Ingram. That's not a low cap tight end. That's a legitimate threat at the tight end position. Like Mo said, though, just missed him. That civil. And Hackos had to use a timeout. Yeah, you never want to use a timeout when the clock stopped in the fourth quarter. Really tough situation, but you're one stop away from winning this game, so get it by however you can. Well, that's the crazy thing. I think the clock was on the move. Three, on. And it's a screen machine, and that's going to push it back to the 33. That's what Nick Hackles needed. This is a guy that has built his defense off of applying the pressure, hasn't been able to get to Aikman, but that time dials it up, and that's a big sack. Nick Hacko blitzes 73% of the time. That's the third highest in the tournament. Looks like he's taking a shot here. Just trying to catch Nick Hacko sleeping. He's going for glory. So after the third sack of the game for Hacko, here comes Civil. Uh -oh. He swings it outside and it's picked off. Ryan Shazier. Come on, oh. Shazier. And he's Let's still go, running. Man. Oh, look at that flex. 
right there from that. Nick Hackle. That might have been a $10,000 interception. Awesome. Civil tries to throw the comeback route and get Icky got the dive animation, which is usually on, free money. Instead gets punched in his mouth. Hackle gets the pick off the tip, gets on his horse. And now he's gonna try to put Civil away. Luckily for Civil, he's got all three timeouts. 104 to go after the turnover. They'll stretch it. And Chris Johnson will fight his way to the 41. And here comes that first timeout. That's going to stop the clock with 59 seconds left in the ball game. One first down and this game is over. It has been a roller coaster ride here in the NFC South. And we still got the final final of the night. That'll be in the NFC West between Volterax and Trey Kings. That game's coming up next. They go back to Chris Johnson. It's a first down and more. He'll lay down. And it's going to be a win for Nick Hacko. Way to close out that game if you're Nick Hacko. Looked like Civil was going to get away with the bad read, but he does it. Shazier comes up with the tick pick. And Hacko just gets a first down to seal it. Great, great adjustment there in that fourth quarter to go back to running the ball. And it's Game of Thrones time. He's going to bend the knee and get out of here, RG. Best play in football. I'll be honest, I thought Civil might be the player to beat in the division. Nick Hacko says, not so fast, my friend. Big plays leads to a big win. The biggest in his career as Nick Hacko just doubled up his money and got 